Hello friends. Today in this session we will discuss bituminous concrete. It is also called asphaltic concrete. And in this session we will discuss the design, construction and quality control test. Asphalt concrete is one of the most common types of pavement surface materials which is used around the world. It consists of mixture of asphalt binder that is bitumen aggregate particles and some air wires. It is a bitumen layer which is generally used as wearing course but sometimes it can also be used as profile correction course. It is generally laid in single layer of 30 mm, 40 mm or 50 mm thickness and IRC 37 2018 which is a code on design of flexible pavement suggests that when traffic is more than 20 million standard axles, the type of binder in BC layer should be BG40 or CRMB and it should be laid on dense bitmus macadam as a binder base course. Materials Materials for preparing the mix for asphalt concrete are same as generally used for any other type of bitmus mixes that is bitumen, aggregate and filler. The bitumen should be as per IS73 if it is viscosity grade binder or IS15462 if it is a modified binder and the grade of binder to be selected depends upon the site condition. And these are the guidelines given in IRC37 and MORTH specifications that VZ40 is suitable for highly stressed area like intersections, near toll booth, truck parking loads and also for roads where design traffic is more than 20 million standard axles. When the design traffic is less than 20 MSA, VG30 can be used. VG20 and VG10 are soft gate binders and they are generally used for paving in cold and very cold climatic conditions. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways 5th Revision of 2013 gives some guidelines for selection of the binder grade and it is based on lowest mean air temperature and highest daily mean temperature. When it is more than minus 10 and it is less than 20 degrees centigrade then this is a cold region and therefore VG10 should be selected. But when the highest daily mean temperature is more than 30 degrees centigrade then VG30 is recommended. But IRC 37 suggests that when commercial vehicles are more than 2000 per day per lane and the highest daily temperature exceeds 40 degrees centigrade then VG40 or modified binder should be used in bitumous concrete. Coarse aggregate is the material which is retained on 2.36 mm sieve. It can be crushed rocks or crushed gravel but it should be clean, hard, durable and of cubical shape which is free from dust and of low porosity material. Coarse aggregate should possess physical properties which are required for a mix and Ministry of Road Transport and Highways 2013 suggest these parameters or these properties which are to be tested before declaring a particular aggregate suitable for use in bitmus concrete. Cleanliness which is measured through grain size distribution and passing 75 microns should be less than 5%. Particle shape can be measured through combined fluckiness and elongation indices and its value should be 35% or less. E strength of aggregate measured through abrasion test or through impact value. Durability is measured through soundness test and after 5 cycles in sodium sulphate the loss in weight should be 12% or less and in the solution of magnesium sulphate it can be up to 18% and this test generally conducted when the aggregate fails in water absorption. A stripping test is required to determine the coating of aggregates and the a test requires that minimum coating should be 95%. Polystone value should be 55 or more and retained tensile strength on bitumen mix should be at least 80%. Fine aggregates, these are the crushed or naturally occurring mineral materials passing 2.36 mm and retained on 75 micron sieve. 
the sand equivalent value of fine aggregate should be 50 or more and plasticity index of fraction passing 425 micron should be less than 4. The filler is a finely divided mineral material such as rock dust, hydrated lime or cement and it should satisfy the requirement of gradation as given here. Passing 600 micron should be 100 percent, passing 300 micron sieve 95 to 100 percent and passing 75 micron sieve 85 to 100 percent. Fly ash is not recommended in the design of bitumous concrete. Now this coarse aggregate, fine aggregate and filler together in a mix should have the gradation satisfying the requirement as given in MORTH 2013. Two types of gradings are suggested here. One is BC1, another is BC2. BC1 is for layer thickness of 50 mm and BC2 is for layer thickness of 30 to 40 mm. Now this is the nominal maximum size of aggregate for BC1 and this is the nominal size of aggregate for BC2. And the minimum band content here as recommended in MORTH specification is 5.2% for BC1 and 5.4% for BC2. Now here this is the filler, the percent passing 75 micron, 2 to 8 percent or 4 to 10 percent and this has important role in the performance of the mix. Excessive amount of filler usually reduces the VMA to a point that sufficient bitumen for a durable mix cannot be added and high filler content also increases the aggregate surface area and thus reduces the asphalt film thickness. A typical specification requires the filler to bitumen ratio to be between 0.6 and 1.2 by weight and the same is adopted in Ministry of Road Transport and Highway specification of 2013. But IRC 135 which is published very recently suggests that filler bitumen ratio should be capped 0.8 to 1. It is a narrow range here. Now the higher filler binder ratio will stiffen the mix and lower ratio will affect the strength parameters. Now if you calculate the filler bitumen ratio for the binder content of minimum binder content that is given in MORTH specification 5.2 percent for grading 1 and 5.4 percent for grading 2 and assuming that 2 to 8 percent the filler is permitted and 4 to 10 percent filler is permitted in grading 2 then do that filler bitumen ratio equal to 0.37 to 1.53 and 0.74 to 1.8. An ideal specification should require such a ratio based on volume and should take rigid wires which generally control the stiffening effect into account. As far as design of mix is concerned, Marshall method of mix design as given in MS2 series is recommended for designing the job mix formula for bitmus concrete and the first step is testing of aggregates and binder. So physical test on aggregate like flagrace index, elongation index, cleanliness, water absorption, strength parameter, durability all these tests are conducted on aggregates and similarly binder is tested as per IS73 if it is a viscosity gear binder or IS14562 if it is a modified binder. The next step is proportioning of aggregates to get the desired grading. So aggregates which are available at site are suitably proportioned to get the final gradation almost near the midpoint of the gradation given here in MORT specifications. So attempt should be to have the target gradation which is close to midpoint of this range. And there can be several methods of proportioning of aggregates. In one of the videos I have discussed these three methods, trial and error method, analytical method and graphical method and you can watch this video to understand the method of proportioning of aggregates. Then after proportioning of aggregates and after testing of aggregate and binder, then you design the mix. There is another video on Marshall method of mix design. You can watch that video to get the insight of Marshall method of mix design. The design should be done to meet the following parameters. Compaction level 75 blows on each face of the specimen, 
stability at 60 degree centigrade to be 9 kilo newton if it is a viscosity grade binder or 12 kilo newton if it is a modified binder in hot climate or 10 kilo newton if it is modified binder in cold climate and similarly marshall flow marshall quotient air wires wires filled with bitumen tensile strength ratio and wires in mineral aggregate all these are specified in mrth specification and these parameters remain same whether the layer thickness is 50 mm or less than 50 mm the requirement of vma that is wires in mineral aggregate is dependent on nominal size of aggregate for a nominal size of 19 mm this and for viscosity grade binder the wires in mineral aggregate should be 12 percent minimum 12 percent and for modified binder it can be 13 to 14 percent and for nominal mix particle size 9.5 millimeter these values are 14 15 and 16. ARC 135 2022 has introduced the concept of film thickness also in a vitreous mixture but it is not the part of mixed design but we should understand that low film thickness may cause premature distresses in the pavement. As far as film thickness around an aggregate is a function of diameter of aggregate and the percent bitumen content in the mix. The film thickness decreases as the diameter of the particle decreases. And the current technique for calculating film thickness is based on the surface area factors which are suggested by Veeam in his method of mixed design. The film thickness is calculated using this equation B upon 100 minus B into 1 upon PB into 1 upon SAF, where T is the bitumen film thickness in meter, small b is the bitumen content in percent, PB is the density of the bitumen kg per meter cube, and this is surface area factor in meter square per kg. And that depends upon the size of the aggregate. For percent passing maximum sieve size, the surface area factor is suggested 0.41. Passing 4.75, 0.41, passing 2.36, this is 0.82. So as the size reduces, it increases. The surface area factor increases. Let us take one example that you have the sieve size analysis and you get the percent passing which is close to midpoint of the range suggested in MORT specifications. Then the equation for surface area is 0.41 that is for surface area factor for size more than 4.75 millimeter and all these sizes which are more than 4.75 millimeter are ignored in the calculation of surface area. So we start with 4.75. 4.75 factor is 0.41 multiplied by A plus 0.82 into B plus 1.64 into C. Now these are the surface area factor and this A, B, C, D are the percent passing these ISC size. So you have up to G that is 75 micron. So if you put the values of A, B, C, D in this equation, you will get a surface area of 5.6008 meter square per kg. And this is an equation to calculate film thickness. And if you take B 5.2%, that is the minimum percent, minimum bitumen content given in MORT PH specification, and then assume density of the bitumen 1001 kg per meter cube, you get the value of T as 9.69 micron. Now, this is the average film thickness. Typically, its value should be 6 to 8 micron. If the film is too thin, then air which enters the compacted mix can rapidly oxidize this thin film and the mix can become brittle. Therefore, the typical value of film thickness which is suggested by researchers is 6 to 8 micron. But this is just for a verification. Binder content is not to be changed based on the film thickness. It is still not the part of design. Once you prepare the job mix formula, then next step is to determine the tensile strength ratio. And this is 
This test is done as per ASTO T283 and the complete procedure of determining tensile strength ratio is given in another video on ITS and TSR. You can watch for details of this test. Our TSR value should at least be 80%. Once the lab job mix formula is approved, the plant trial should be carried out to establish that the plant can produce uniform mix as per job mix formula. And permissible variations of individual size from approved job mix formula should be as per this table. Aggregate passing 90 millimeter or larger, there should not be more than plus minus 7% variation from the job mix formula. And similarly for other sieve sizes. Binder content should not vary more than plus minus 0.3% and mixing temperature should not be more than plus minus 10%. After plant trials, it is important to carry out laying trials. It is to demonstrate that the mix can be laid and compacted to required density without any difficulty. And this trial is carried out outside the project road in an area of almost 100 meters square. And then the actual construction of the project road starts. The first step in the construction is preparation of the base. The base surface on which the bitmus concrete layer is to be laid should be cleaned of all loose material by means of mechanical broom and air jet. And if geosynthetics are specified in the contract, then it will be laid as per caudal provision. If a stress absorbing layer is specified, that will also be applied as per standard procedure and of approved material. Then the second step is to apply tack coat and the material for tack coat should be as per IRC 16 or as per MOR pH specification as given in the contract. The rate of tack coat application will be as per contract document and if it is not given in the document then it can be as per this table suggested in MORTH 2013. Tack coat shall be left to cure until all volatiles have evaporated before putting the next layer. Then next step is mixing, transportation and laying. Mix will be prepared in a hot mix plant of adequate capacity and MORTH specifications give some guidelines for binder temperature, aggregate temperature, mix temperature, laying temperature, rolling temperature depending upon the grade of the bitumen. But the difference in temperature between binder and aggregate at no time should exceed 14 degrees centigrade and rolling must be completed before the mat cools to the minimum temperature. Controls during construction Surface finish, the maximum allowable difference between the road surface and the underside of a 3 meter straight edge should be 3 millimeter or less. And control test on binder, aggregate and mixture should be conducted at regular interval. For aggregate, what MORTA suggests that impact test, Los Angeles abrasion test and flakiness elongation dex test, one test per 350 meter cube of aggregate for each source. Soundness, water absorption, sand equivalent test, PI value and polished tone value. The frequency is one for each source and whenever there is a change in the quality of the aggregates. And similarly for mix grading, two tests per day for binder content, one test per 400 ton of mix and minimum of two per day. And checking for temperature should be done at regular interval. Density of compacted layer, at least one test per 700 meter square area. The stability and wires analysis of bitmus mix should be conducted at the frequency of three tests per 400 ton of mix and minimum two per day. The moisture searchability of the mix that is TSR value, one for each mix type whenever there is a change in the quality or source of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. All these details are given in MORTH specification of 2013. The acceptance criteria for density and martial stability is based on statistical analysis and what the code says that mean value of n sample should be more than or equal to a specified value in the job mix formula plus this factor. 
where n is the number of samples and hd is the standard deviation and this n is minimum 3 for density measurement and 2 for Marshall stability measurement. So friends, thank you very much. You can write down your suggestion in the comment box.